Caddis Maximus here, this time with a quick review of Galileo thermometers. These are pretty interesting, kind of hard to get these in frame. Let's try that. There we go. Let's not knock them over. These are pretty neat. They've been around for a long time, hence the term Galileo thermometers. They're real basic. They work on buoyancy. And basically, as a fluid heats up, it expands. As it expands, its specific density decreases, which means that heavier or lighter objects are able to sink. That's the easiest way to explain it. Kind of like how foam is denser than solid plastic when it comes to fluids. As they heat up, they become, quote unquote, less solid, which means it's easier for things to sink into them. Each of these spheres, I don't, I believe they're all filled with the same liquid, just colored differently. And the little weights that are hung from them all weigh a little bit, I should say, more. So the heaviest one's at the bottom, the lightest weight is at the top. So as this heats up, each sphere with a slightly heavier weight will fall as the volume of water increases. And so it goes by four degree increments. You have 64, 68, 72, uh, 76, and 80 degrees. And you know you know it's more than 80 degrees if all the balls are down and colder than 64 degrees if all the spheres are up. Uh, these tend to be glass. They make them in all sorts of different sizes. Here's a little desktop size one. This one's about a foot tall. Um, and they come even bigger than that. And they're quite sensitive. Just from touching this, I've gotten this ball to drop. Now, if I go ahead and just put my hand on this, I can probably get this just to heat up enough to get these to drop. Or at least getting another one to drop. Just from the heat that I can... See, I can get the yellow one to start going down. What's interesting is because it's the sensitivity is incredible... Um, because you can get a sphere that is just like partially falling or like right at the equilibrium limit and uh, it's actually pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing that you can be uh, just fractions of a degree and the ball will be midpoint or halfway up or halfway down. So there we go. As I hold it, I think you can see this blue one starting to fall. There it goes, just from the heat of my hand. The water expands and that starts to fall. And so that's generally how these work. They're kind of neat. They can be made in any kind of shape or size. There's all sorts of artistic versions of these, not just these vertical cylinders. And, uh, and, and they're just a classic device. So I recommend them. They're nice. They look pretty. They're pretty accurate. Uh, as far as I know, they don't really have a lifespan. I believe this would last for hundreds of years um, and still remain relatively accurate, if not completely accurate. And another nice thing about them is you can look across a room and just see what colors are down or what colors are up to get an idea of what temperature it is. It's really fast and easy. Anyway, that was just a quick review of a uh, Galileo thermometer or the common style that you would see at Tiffany's or something. Um, Cas Maximus out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.